Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are playing The Hill Maniac. Now, I don't know much about this game. I know this is by the same creators that have made numerous games called The Poop Killer, which I have not had on this channel yet, surprisingly. <laughs> but we're going to jump into this game, no questions asked. It's the brand new popping popping game that's on itch.io right now, and I'm very excited to try this one out. In the early 1980s, a wave of disappearances began. After a few years of investigation, the police arrived at Arthur Bill's a farmer who lived isolated from the city on top of a hill. When the police arrived at the scene, several bodies were found with signs of torture and abuse. He tore apart the body of his victim, still alive. It was impossible to hear the screams of agony because they were totally isolated. Kind of fucking scary, Jesus, man. Arthur Bills was never found. People in the town know him as Hill Maniac. And to this day, everyone lives in fear. He is still out there. The tape you will watch is law enforcement property from investigative... Uh, fuck. The tape you're watching is law enforcement property from investigative use. Reporter Martin Riley decided to go to the killer's cabin to get exclusive footage of the place. The images contained in this tape are violent and disturbing, as well as being proof of a true crime. So what I've actually heard is that this is actually real. I think. Oh my god, the fucking sensitivity, dude. Because I heard this that this game is a parody of that, of what happened. But with like their game and everything. So whether or not this game is actually part of that or this is something that is actually true. Um, this is scary. This is quite scary. <laughs> Anybody home? Well, it doesn't seem to be that anybody's home. Oh, and there's just a, a, a pentagram. Wow. How the fuck would they never find this guy for herself? Could they just like, oh, I'm gonna go up the ladder. Hello? Oh, yeah. A crow. Why can't I just break into this man's house if he's never home? Why ha why hasn't the FBI actually just burst through this guy's door? Oh, a tab. I got a key. Why is his house key on top of the roof? That's a lot of questions that I need to know as an investigative uh, journalist for trying to find this man. Okay, let's open up the door. Cool. Hello? Is there anybody that is home? Uh... Arthur, I just want to ask a couple questions, my man. You really got to clean your house. Excuse me, Arthur. We are actually in need. Oh, fucking Christ. I, I was here for a, uh, a question and answer, a QA, and a if you will. You know, if you're down for that, you know, you can, you, we can sign a waiver so this doesn't go out to the public or anything. This is just to be for my own a personal blog. Hello? Arthur? Arthur, it's enough. Oh, fuck, God. Of all things, you scared me with a fucking crow. Hello. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Bro. I'm just trying to ask you, I'm just trying to ask you some questions, man. Let me check the attic. Is there anything up in the attic? Maybe this is where he's living at. Oh. Okay, dude, it's enough. Arthur Billings, I'm in need of a question and answer. Trust me, if I don't get this, I lose my job. And potentially lose my life too while I'm doing it, but I am determined. <laughs> hey, well, where the fuck did you think? I don't even know where you went. You. Oh, that was outside. I thought that was in the game. <laughs> Can I explain the tire swing actually? Wait, or do, do people still deliver mail to him? Can you imagine if like you're just like, oh, god damn, I gotta deliver mail to goddamn bills, man. So I'm supposed to find a secret to open up that like chest or something? Four? 4296. What the fuck am I supposed to know that for? I feel like I'm supposed to find something and I'm just not finding it. Clearly. Oh, there's something literally right here. I don't even know what type of key that is. A door key. The basement key. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey. Woohoo. All right, Arthur. Arthur, I know where you are. They claim. Listen, I'm on your side, pal. This has nothing to do with me. You know, you murdered a couple people. Now, whether or not I believe that's true is uh, completely out of my line of work. Okay, well, I'm assuming this is the basement. Um, Arthur? Hey, man. You wanna play some volleyball? You can see what I got. Um. And, ooh. Oh. Um. Okay. Got a key for. Key for bathroom. I know that. What are these fucking numbers for? I don't. There's like so many numbers. Is this a code? <gasps> Fucking goddamn, the goddamn mouse, man. Okay, well, this is for the bathroom, I guess. I, I don't know. Is that supposed to be, like, the last code? Well, I guess I have to go to the fucking bathroom. Arthur. 
Yo, he does want to play. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, you trying to play some volleyball, man? I got you with it. If you want to play some volleyball, my guy. I just want answers, man. It's not that hard. But I guess it's hard enough. What is this? A lighter. Can we use the Kindle items? I guess. Oh, okay. Here's the thing that I need to find. Yellow, blue, red, green, purple. Yellow, blue, red, green, purple. Cool. Whatever the fuck this is. Is this the, like the power switch or whatever it is? It is. There's like so many fucking things I have to like write down. I don't even know what that code could be or should be. I don't know. Well, hey, man. Nice to see you. Um. Oh! Fuck! Okay. Yeah. That in there. Turn it on. Oh, fuck, man. I don't know what this code's gonna be. Oh, so I really gotta go back and figure this out. I guess I gotta do that. Am I supposed to find something that... Oh. Okay, well, I didn't think that was gonna do anything, really. Oh! Fuck, 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 fuck. Yo, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make tea! I didn't mean to make tea! Oh, okay. That's so loud. Okay. I don't know what was, I don't know what that was, but I think I saw a hand. So star. So this one's nine. This one's four. So what's the star and what's that? So two. So that's two. Six. Okay. All right. Cool. So two. Nine six four two nine six four. Just let me put the code in. Ah! Fucking asshole! Don't, dude! Don't ever fucking peek around corners. Okay. No. Ah! Okay. Well, I found the. Uh... Oh! What's happening? Oh, hey, man. Um, I know what you murdered some people, but honestly, you know what happens? No, it's not your fault. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Hey, man. Can I please leave now? Oh! Ah! Yeah, I just want to leave! I just want to leave! No. Oh, that's me! No, please. I just... I didn't mean to enter your house. Could it, why didn't anybody bring a gun? Why didn't my guy bring a weapon? He knows how dangerous this is. I know I'm not, like, a police officer or anything. Could I just brought a gun? Yes, give me my camcorder. It's the last thing I want. Oh. No! Oh! Oh, wait, it's not done? Oh, I'm the police officer. Hello? Oh, my, oh, okay. Arthur, your time is up. Wait, how the fuck do they know about this? Why couldn't they just done this before? Arthur, I know you're, you're in here. I, I don't, but you know, I, I, I played previous. Arthur, Arthur, it's time. A doll? Oh no, I wasted all my ammo on a doll. I will shoot you in the face, my guy. You don't know about the flick of my wrist, man. My God, it's worse than I imagined. Well, where's my guy at? My God. Can they get caution tape over his house then if he was there? That's actually a really good game. I've never really played 616 games before. 
Um, that was delivered by the creators that actually made this game along with a, a long series of games called The Poop Killer. But for the game itself, it was actually really scary. It got me a few times, actually, and uh, I never really got scared like that in such a long time yet, but it was actually a really good game. I really loved it. I love the atmosphere, and I love the found footage style of this game. And because of that, I'm going to bring this game four stars out of five. And again, I just want to say thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are loving all the content that I've been producing in the last few weeks. Uh, it really means a lot with all your guys' comments and your guys' likes and subscriptions and all that stuff like that. Really means a lot. And, uh, you know, just be on the lookout for some more. For those that are new, if you guys want to join up on my Discord as well, the link of it will be in the description below. It's, it's definitely free. And I would love to have you guys there. Stay safe, be responsible. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out.